What exactly is affiliate marketing? This is whereby a company compensates someone for referring another person to purchase product or service from their site. So in that way, you get to earn commissions. That is the focus for today. I know there are a lot of people here who are just like, I hear people earning money from affiliate marketing on Amazon, on eBay, and they're in Africa, and I don't know how to go about it. So this video is exactly for you because this is a beginner-friendly tutorial that will take you through step by step. Now, I'm going to give you a complete tutorial step by step and this is free of charge there is nothing that you are going to charge to be charged from this and you can also use your phone or everything that i'm going to do here is usable on phone so make sure you have your phone in handy because this this method of earning money through affiliate marketing does not specify to have a computer and i'm showing you something that i've used to get sales from USA, from Canada, from Australia, stuff like that. And I am in Africa. So stay tuned because this works, you guys. Do not skip any step because every single step in this video is very important. So make sure you boot, you boop that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already because this is just a, a beginning of a series that we've started right now here in this channel so without wasting much of our time let's begin okay the first thing we are going to do is to go to google and search for google trends because in that way we are going to find our niche a niche is a specific topic that we want to pick for our audience so that you can use our links for that specific topic it is much easier to use a niche because in that way you will get your target on audience much faster i made a mistake right there so that is what i'm correcting so you'll just click on that google trends and we will land on the page yeah my data is a bit slow so we will have to wait a little bit and then after landing on the page this is how it will look like yes this is how it looks when you don't have an account yet or when you haven't connected it to your gmail account because as you can see my gmail account is not connected and with this i just created a new email so that i can show you guys this thing because it really works and i like it when you i will like it when you guys try it out so uh what we are going to do is to click on login okay just a point to put out there make sure you stick around till the end of the video because every point in this video is so much important I don't want you to miss on any step i don't want you to miss on anything because in affiliate marketing it is all about how you do it so everything that i say and everything that i do on screen is important so click on login and then you want to choose your gmail account that is what i'm being told there so we continue with that and then a page will look like this as you can see on screen okay we can pick on any such term and i've decided to go with women clothing so that you can see the data range within one year how people have been searching this particular topic on google because in that way we will be able to drive traffic to our affiliate links so as you can see uh, women clothing has been searched as much like many times and it has not even touched the 50 mark as you can see on screen so that is a good niche to pick in case you want to do affiliate marketing this is how people look at it you see it was above average it was above average the entire year there is no way that it went down and stuff like that so we can also try out something as like home decor you guys have seen how home decors and stuff have i've done well on youtube even 
even here on youtube they are doing so well so as you can see this one is even above average above the 75 mark very good niche to pick because there's a high volume there's a high search volume when it comes to home decor and people this is just an area on this is an area of interest of so many people so if you are able to pick on omdika then you are good to go women clothing you are good to go so the next thing we also want to search for is men's clothing so we can see whether they are the same and then we will move to the next thing so as you can see men's clothing is not so good niche but you can choose to use that type of content yeah you can use to pick on that niche because you're a man or maybe you're just you just have a particular interest but with me i cannot go with men's clothing when it comes to you know when it comes to affiliate marketing and stuff because not so many people it drops so many times that's the reason as you can see the graph is a little bit inconsistent so and the graph has ever passed 50 marks so that one is so much inconsistency and we cannot base our our we cannot base our thoughts on that because we are not really sure whether we will drive, drive enough traffic for our affiliate links because these affiliate links are not just going to be pasted there for people to see they have to be a little bit hidden yeah and stuff like that so the next thing we want to do is to create a pinterest account i've done a little bit of retouch on this page so that is why it looks as it looks so we picked a niche which is home decor and we have already picked our niches when it comes to pinterest because pinterest in pinterest we also have to pick certain niches this is where our page has landed to i just sketched a little bit of things and i put a profile picture which is just something i've got online through google in this section of today we are going to be given inspirations we are being given everything that is catching today that is trending on this today's section what people are liking on pinterest stuff like that so on the plus sign you can go create idea pin and create pin and then on that bell icon you you are you are going to be given updates by pinterest stuff like that that one this is just a private account yeah i have not yet converted it to public so you should expect that and then share ideas with your friends you can see share those ideas that you have the boards the pins with your friends and then here is where you can get settings you know as you can see that is a personal account i'm going to change everything you can add account you can convert to business which i'm going to do right away now so here we are going to, we are told to upgrade to a free business account pinterest is just as simple as other things so you are going to check all those boxes or it is going to be checked for you all you need to do is to tap on upgrade after that you'll see everything is now starting to change all you need to do is also build your profile so you'll insert your profile name so let us insert a profile name which is kai luxury homes that is what i picked in the beginning i might change it however i want because this is just pinterest and all i'm doing is to help people to find home decor equipment or home decor stuff easier yeah so pinterest is just like a shopping site if i'm not wrong yeah so being that we picked our niche if you check on your left side you will see a 
a coach there and then do you have a website you just be genuine just say no you don't have and then country or region you see you have to be wise here you just put united states because those are the people who that is the largest demographic that use pinterest most people from australia canada usa stuff like that are the people who use pinterest to shop or to find great ideas for their homes for stuff like that and then here we are just being told to check on our goals i'm going to check a few and then we have grow brand awareness create a content on pinterest to grow an audience this is just what you have in mind for your business that is what they're asking you can also check on not sure yet no one will beat you <laughs> yeah so we are going to check those three i think that's enough and then we are going to tap on next so here we want to be specific what is our business about are we blogging are we consumer goods are we whatever so are we local retail so we are an online retail and marketplace because we are going to help people to find goods and services online that they want to buy yeah so by giving them ideas and how they can use them and in that way we are getting traffic to our affiliate links it's that simple so this one is an online retail or marketplace just like shopify etsy stuff like that and then we're going to press on next so what do you use to sell your products you see they have already put all those shopping shopping sites like shopify etsy now because you're going to use amazon we will just click on something else yeah so amazon links are allowed on pinterest but amazon does not display all these things so just click on something else and we are going to move to the next page now here we are on the next page we use pinterest every month so with this i'm planning to advertise i'm not sure yet yeah so that is just something that is it depends on what you want from your pinterest account but with me i went for i'm not sure yet because that's the truth so this is how our board our pinterest account will be looking you can share ideas you can grow your audience and you can showcase your brand and get people to see your brand or get more visible online so pinterest is so much easier to get visible especially if you have a brand so we want to build our profile and stuff like that first of all i want you guys to check on the business sec section <laughs> let's check on the business section so this is our home page you see it is now very different and on top of that place we're on, on top of that welcome home there will be different pins very nice very nicely arranged um it will look very nice you guys pinterest always looks so nice and if someone this is just like an online shop so you can imagine how it will look like when we are through with the video and as you can see the page has changed completely from business from personal account to business account i was just showing you guys how to change all of that so we are going to business hub so here is where you can see what kind of audiences you've reached monthly views followers and new audiences you can also create pins you see stuff like that this is where you can find like a business hub somewhere you can check on analytics stuff like that to help you determine what your next pin will be what your next board will be everything about that in pinterest also the performance the analytics overview impressions saves outbound clicks everything just in place for you in the pinterest app so nice so on home feed 
we are going to be shown the for you page and this is these are the pins that are topping we are going to save them for our boards and these pins as you can see we already chose home decor and the and the niches that we picked enable us to find pins that are related to what we want our audience to see so pinterest just paste them on your for you page immediately you pick your niche here you can create an idea pin we can create a pin and we can create an ad so we want, don't want to do that right now all we are looking for all we are doing all i'm doing right now it's to show you around yeah to show you then we are going to overview when it comes to analytics the first thing you will find is just the overview and the overall performance of your pins and boards yeah your pinterest account how it is performing the activities the impressions the engagements total audience engaged audience stuff like that and this happens in the last 30 days you can customize if you want to so analytics is very important in all platforms right on the light green part is where we will be shown our metric for every month that is so that is how we will track what kind of pins to pin more what kind of boards to create more so just by looking at your metric you'll see what performs best and that is how you will that's how you will be able to know what kind of boards and pins interest your audience the most and if you give them something that they like then that will attract more people to your pinterest account so that is what we want to focus on as we go on we are also going to audience insights where we will be able to see uh, the kind of audience that we are dealing with let me say in terms of age gender location demo uh, the devices they use the demographic that is location yeah everything of that sort so i think that is pre pretty self-explanatory i just want us to move as fast as possible because this video is kind of very long and as i said stick around till the end because everything that i'm saying and everything that i'm showing on screen is very important you cannot miss any step now if we go ahead and check all pre all pinterest users this is where we will find different categories and interests and audience and age gender what kind of devices people use interest of people you know so in this way we will be able to know that which region is good for our kind of you know topic you understand so the kind of topic is home decor so home decor how we will will we know that these kind of people like searching for home decor on google with this kind of people as you can see on top metros we see new york los angeles dallas because i chose usa so this is just giving me a simple you know a simple overview of what kind of like what kind of demographic or where does the audience come from mostly like all pinterest users within the united states and then we can do our comparison and stuff like that so this is just comparison on different kind of places with their audience the metros the devices they use uh, the age the interests all that kind of stuff very very important to know so in that way we will be able to know what to focus on or what demographics to focus on there's not much to show when it comes to conversion insights because this is just helping in measuring the impact of your pinterest content stuff like that so right now we are going to to trends
one thing that i know about trends and i have experienced before is that trends can change the overall performance of your pinterest account like crazy so when you discover a trend like right now we have this increase in light they say 30 percent increase in searches for partial light string ideas and this is something that is around our niche which is home decor so when you have pins like when you have links to you to when you have links to a certain product which is the same as the one that is indicated there you are likely to get a high engagement yeah so keep on looking on the trends the things that trend within your niche and make sure you utilize that very very well because you don't know what kind of direction your pinterest account will take and you don't know how many conversion rates you'll be able to make in your affiliate in your affiliate dashboard or something yeah so i like lo looking on trends a lot so that is just something that i, I want to put out there okay when it comes to ads all you can do is just create an ad campaign and stuff like that if you want to reach more audience then you can use your money or you want to use to reach a larger audience faster but that is not the point of this video because here i'm teaching you on how to get organic traffic very fast without using any money without using a bob so ads is not part of the plan what we want to do now is to use a feature in ads or while cr creating ads in order to get the the keyword yeah so the keywords that we are going to use in our overall pinterest account in order to find the right audience for our pins and our boards and our links now our next step will be going to analytics after tapping on analytics then we are going to audience insights so this is where we will get our keywords and stuff and we are going to go a process we are going to take a process whereby it will seem like we are going to create an ad but we are not going to create an ad campaign in real sense so what we are going to do is to create campaign we are not creating campaign we are just using the tools that are available for that so click on next because our audience in fr is from U usa if that place is not something you you want then you can change to australia canada whatever you want uh, yeah so next and then advertising agreement stuff like that accept and move on then this is how our overview will look like this is how the page will look like now we are going to repeat the same process again by tapping on analytics don't get tired this is just something that will help you then audience insights after that this page will open and we are going to create a campaign we are not actually creating campaign we are just going to use the tools that are available there so click on create campaign and then this page will open up okay we are now going to scroll all the way down and then click on continue and there we go so what we have here is targeting details and on the left hand side we have targeting we have budget and schedule we have optimization and delivery and ads so we want to focus on targeting right now because that is what we want we want the our audience like the kind of audience let me say the kind of audience that we want the audience that is searching for home decor stuff like that now right in the middle section we are going to select on find new customers 
because that is what we are actually trying to find and then here we have targeting details we have targeting strategies audience list interests in uh, interests and keywords and that is what we want to focus on right now so let's scroll downwards now we will select interests and keywords or maybe tap on it and then we will have demographics okay everything listed down including all interests and and add keywords so this is how it will look like i don't want to make things complicated you guys are seeing the screen so when it comes to all interests we want to select interests and as you know at the back of your mind our interest is on home decor so that is what you want to find here and then we will be good to go now that we have our interest selected we are going to go straight to adding keywords now on the section written extend your search this is where everything now turns out to be so much interesting because here is where we are going to type our keyword which is home decor and we are going to see how this search term is ranking on like how many search term let me say how many times this search term is being typed on the search bar of pinterest so we are just going straight away to typing home decor and then as you can see we have all results here we have keywords and we have monthly searches so this one will help us to know at what range uh, people are searching for home decor and stuff like that so as you can see right now it is about 5 million plus and we are just starting out on pinterest we cannot pick on such keywords because they are they are just like they are saturated let me use, allow me to use that term they are highly saturated and if we want to rank, rank much faster like tomorrow then we have to pick something that will enable us to rank as fast as we want right so when it comes to home decor we will just scroll down as we tap on see more see more until we reach the very last point which is about 10 to 100k you understand 500k to 1 million that is a bit fair that is a bit fair but it is good to pick where it is good to pick a monthly search volume of about 100k to 500k that is not so bad yeah and below now that we have reached on the very last point which is home decor at print i think what we want to do now is to pick these keywords and then paste them on my notepad so i'm just going to open my notepad notepad real quick and then we are going to pick these keywords and use them to create our boards that is very helpful because that is the way that we will get to rank on pinterest so first we have home decor cottages we have decor cottage decorating for fall so i think i will pick one by one and then we will see what next now that we are done putting that into my notepad i don't like showing my notepad i don't know and also in on the screen you can see it was not showing while i was saving all those keywords but when it comes to this notepad i saved home decorating luxury or, or home decor luxury so that is the search term i want to search for again after searching for home decor so home decor helped us get home decor luxury and then i want also to search for home decor luxury so that i can find other boards that are you know ranking much lower because as you can see here we have from 500 to 1 million that is a large 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 such term so 
so we want to minimize it much much more because as you can as you all know uh, my topic is about kai luxury so when i search for home decor luxury it will make a lot of sense for my viewers or for the people who are searching for luxurious things in their homes you understand so that is the technique you want to use as you can see right now uh kitchen luxury is 10k to 100k bathroom decor luxury 10k to 100k you see this is just now making sense it is not a huge monthly search term and we are likely to rank on this even tomorrow so when we start with this for 10k to 100k then we can go to 1k to 10k then go a little bit more deeper and create more boards and more pins girl let me tell you this thing will work for you like magic and if you are consistent with this method for the next six months or the next three months let me know what happens in the comment section because this is also a video that i'm doing for all of us so that we can continue this is just a, a series yeah this is a series that i've started and i want us to continue with this as we build a community of affiliate marketers so i just want you guys to try this out i really do so make sure you do because i will also be doing my part by posting so here i i picked a few a few such terms uh, i luxury living room luxury bedroom stuff like that and uh, after picking those then that is what i will also use to create a whole board yeah so we might run out of time but we will always be on this channel and i will always be updating you guys on day on the daily <laughs> yeah so make sure you are subscribed make sure the bell icon has been turned on because that is the way you will get notified whenever i post new things or new helpful videos just like this one now that we have the right keywords saved on our notepad we are going back to home page so that we can edit and customize our page using the keywords that we got from uh from everything that we've done right now yeah so that is what we want to go straight into so i'll go straight to edit profile but before we do that we want to go to another chrome extension so in this way we will search for home decor and see the kind of pins and the kind of boards that are ranking higher and in such a way it will help us to know what kind of images are best for us to save in our boards and also to pin in that way we will be able to rank much faster because those images are all because those images are already popular hey jesus that english okay so we are going to home decor after that as you can see you you can see different search terms for home decor we have home decor ideas home decor ideas living room home decor styles inspirations ideas daily you know stuff like that so that is giving you like an idea of what people search for on pinterest but that is not the case right now what we want to see is the top pins when it comes to home decor so these are the top pins so many of them and as you can see also home decor has categories so this is just a little bit a section a pie of pinterest you want to let me say for example when you have a pie we have to take a section of the pie we cannot take the whole pie that one we will be confusing a lot of people so that is why we focus on specific niche as you can see also this one has specific niches so these are the top pins and these are the pins that we want to focus on so long as we see something that looks like them we are good to go those are the th pins we are going to save and stuff like that so that we can rank higher so i will also search for home 
home decor luxury because that is our key our key search term when it comes to our page i hope you guys are putting this into consideration because i say that everything that i say in this video and everything that you see on screen is important so step by step you guys when you listen to me till the end you will never go broke trust me so don't ever skip my videos everything that i say is important you know so many people skip and then that is where they go wrong because they don't listen to some points and that is only one step can mess everything up missing just a simple step can mess the entire thing for you so when we search for home decor luxury what comes is home decor luxury elegant luxury living room and you can see so many accounts right here people are on this game my people people are on this game so make sure you get into the game and get your dollars come on so these are the kind of pins we have for home decor like zari okay i can i can like let me say i could watch this the entire day because these pins look so nice like they're so uh, they're so eye-catching you guys can already tell and now that you are done with that we can go straight to editing our profile using the tag using the keywords that we have this is where it becomes a little bit challenging but i'm going to get you guys on this so the thing is we want to customize our topic like our title our about section and everything in a in a way that when someone searches for something luxurious when it comes to home decor they land on our page we make sure they land on our page no matter what or they land on our pins so in that way we will get more traction do you understand we are now going we are now going to change the about section as you can see me doing right now so we just want to change it into a way that our keywords are all like we pre we want to we want to keep it in such a way that we place keywords that we already found on our previous searches and in that way we will be able to attract more people to our page so make sure there is no keyword stuffing and stuff like that because in that way our boards and our pins will not be shared to so many people or maybe pinterest will just you know freeze our <laughs> our boards and freeze our pins and they will not be visible on the platform or let me say they will cut on reach something of that sort so make sure there is no keyword stuffing this is so i'm just trying to come up with things that will work for this particular project because this is something we want to do for quite some time in this channel and if you are up for that and if you are loving this video so far make sure you like this video comment down below what you think about this specific video if you want us to continue or not and maybe we can i, I can give you guys updates on how this particular pinterest account is doing and how our amazon associates will be doing by then let me know in the comments if you're up for that now this is how our about section reads this could be the best place to find your best and most luxurious home interior inspirations starting with your bedroom design luxury kids bedroom luxury living room bedroom and much more just as simple as that i didn't want to go so so deep into it but as you can see there is not so much keyword stuffing in my about section so i'm going ahead and uh, inserting different pronouns then they need a website or let me say they need a link to your website and that one is something i don't have so we will skip on that and go to uh, creating a username you can use something like home decor luxury as your username or luxurious homes 
so with me i already chose my title and i think when you have a brand it should match throughout so this is kind of a brand for me don't do i don't recommend you using the same username and the same title as your name just use something that is searchable like when it is about men's clothing just write men's clothing something uh, women's clothing something yeah whether it comes to username when it whether it comes to the name of the pinterest page yeah so don't be like me when it comes to this one i am a little bit i have a little bit of experience so don't don't copy you might go wrong yeah <laughs> you might go wrong and like i said i might also change everything when it comes to this now that we are done customizing or editing our profile all we need to do now is to create boards so that people on pinterest can find our page so this page is already public but be sure no one is seeing it <laughs> just below the saved section we have a plus sign on the right side click on that then click on boards there we have to like we have to create a name for our board and our name must be one of the names that we got from keyword research that is a must in order to rank our board as a whole yeah so if someone is searching for that specific keyword our board will appear right there and then yeah that is the game and that is what we want to do all throughout this is a bit broad but this is our first board that's why i've placed it a bit broader because the rest of the boards are going to be those keyword researches that have monthly search of about 10k to 100k you know you understand so pinterest already have shown us what we should tap on when it comes to luxury and stuff so as you can see these pins look so nice when will i own our house just like this one oh my god it looks so nice okay let me not wish let's work <laughs> yeah let's not wish let's work so this is just something we are going to do we are going to save around 30 or 20 25 ish pins in our first board and then i'll show you guys how to create an amazon account whereby we will be able to to get our link and that link will lead people to let me say it will lead people to our product and that product will generate us sales we now have our first board yes we have our first board which is home decorating luxury as you can see we have 34 pins in it and they look so nice and on top of that board we have more ideas we have organized and we have to do's so when it comes to more ideas that is where pinterest is showing you more ideas that looks like what you've already saved and then when you tap on organize you'll be allowed to change the positions for you know different kind of board uh, pins so when we'll be able to add our own pins with our affiliate links on them we will be able to rearrange and organize them in such a way that they balance out really really well in such a way that people will not even notice the next section is just about to do's and stuff so i think that is it for creating boards and creating pins i have described it the best way i can i hope that gets into someone's attention i hope that gets home i hope everything that i've said in this video you will be able to implement it and work with it 
I feel like this video is getting a lot lengthier than I thought so I'll cut it with here and we can continue with this as a series and I'll be able to explain more to you guys in my next video and my next video I'll show you on how to create an Amazon Associates account and how to customize your account and how to search for things on Amazon Associates or let me say Amazon.com in such a way that when you bring them to Pinterest they will get enough clicks for you to earn commissions from so if that is something that interests you and that is something that you don't want to miss next time make sure you are subscribed and the bell has been turned on this is very serious you guys don't miss out on these huge amounts of money because you neglected one or two things or something that you could just stay for a minute and listen to so make sure that the bell is turned on you like this video so that i can know you want this so that i can know you you want more of this content and i think this is the end of the video and thank you so much for sticking around till the end of the video you are a true fan and i love you so much so i think that is it for the video and i'll see you in my next episode